Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you how to make an animated intro on the phone. So yeah, by the end of this video, you'll be able to add an intro like this one to any game. Let's get started. So in Octo Studio, let's say that I've made a project and I want to add an intro to it. So to start adding an intro, I'll add a backdrop that I want to be the intro backdrop. I'm going to use a trick from Eric and tap the adder backdrop button, use the camera and just take a picture of the table and that looks pretty good to me. You can obviously add any backdrop you like. Now, when the game starts, we don't want these sprites to be showing up. So I'll say when the play button is pressed, hide, and I'll give the same code to the star. So, okay, now when I tap the play button, they all hide. Now I can start working on my intro. So let's draw a sprite that will be in the center of our intro. You could have this be the text of, you know, the name of your channel, or you could have it be an icon. I'm going to tap add a sprite and just paint the text of my username, which as you know, is Zinnia, well, not Zania, Zinnia. And then there's lots of ways you can style the text. You know, you could make duplicates of the text and have these be shadows. You could have a rectangle behind the text, tons of options. I'm going to color the text itself white and I'm just gonna make one shadow. So I'll copy this text and paste it and I will turn this shadow green and then I'm going to move the shadow behind the text. I think that's pretty good, let's check. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we've got our text. For the next step, let's add some music to our intro. So I'll tap here to record a sound and record and I'll add a play sound block to my project. I'll have that start when you tap play. Oh, and you know what? I'll also make it switch the backdrop to this black backdrop when the game starts. Okay, so we've got the sound working. Next up, let's start to make this text animate. So one way we could have it animate is we could have it change size. So let's say I'll have the text start at something like size 300 and I'll just set it there. Then I could make it an animation by having it change size by some amount. Let's just try change size by 20. So that creates this effect. We could also change size by a negative number and have it get smaller every time we tap it. And how about instead of just me tapping this over and over again to make it animate, we could put this inside a repeat loop. So I'll try having it repeat five. Actually, you know what? Let's try this with the music. So I will drag out a play button and put it on top. So that effect looks pretty nice. You could also put in a wait block if you want to have a pause in your animation. And one thing I'm running into is my animation is ending before the song has ended. So I'll try and have it repeat eight, see if that lines up. We could also add some randomness so it changes to a bit of a different size every time. Okay, so we've got the change size working. Now let's add some more to this animation. We could also make it turn. I'll try putting a turn block in a repeat loop as well. And I'll put a wait block in there too. Make this start when the play button is pressed and try it out. Oh, you know what? I need to have it repeat more times. So we've got it turning. You know, I'll add some randomness to the turn as well so that it could turn either direction. I'll make it be negative 10 to 10. Now it will sometimes turn one way and sometimes turn the other. Okay, nice. So we've got our central text animating. Now let's add some more of these graphic effects. First, I'm gonna add a white flash that plays every now and then in the song. So to create that sprite, I'm going to draw a white rectangle. Whoa, I drew it really big. Um, so yeah, I'm dragging that into the middle of the screen. And now let's make it so this flash of light appears during our project and then disappears. So to make it appear, we can drag out this block show, you know, that makes it show up. And then we could drag out this block hide to make it disappear. So let's just try those together. So every time we do that, it creates a flash of light. And right now this flash is going completely white when it shows up. If you want it to be transparent when it shows up, you could make it show something less than 100%. I'll try like 70%, see how that goes. Okay, nice. And if we want there to be multiple flashes of light during our intro, we can drag out a repeat block. So let's try that, okay. And I think I'll drag out a wait block. Now let's put a play button on top and see how this looks. There you go, so we've got our flashes of light working. For the next step, let's add some animated graphics. So the way I'm going to create this look is I'm gonna create empty rectangles, and then I'm just gonna put those rectangles at an angle, and I will have them start really small and then change size. So let's try and make that work. I will tap 
add a sprite and I'll tap paint and I'll just draw the first rectangle. I'm gonna set the color to white and then I'll set the color to empty and fill bucket it. So we're left with just an outline. So I have my shape and I'll drag it into about the center. And I want it to start out at a small size, something like 10. And let's just try it change size by 500 and see how that looks. Maybe I'll try it on the fastest speed. Yeah, okay, I like that. And for fun, I can make it start at an angle. So it goes like that. I'll put this inside a forever loop and just see how it looks. Oh, let me attach it to the play button. So that's honestly looking pretty good. You can drag in a weight block and make it wait a bit if you want. And you know what? Since I added the weight block, I will make it show every time it starts out small. And then I'll make it hide after it gets to the large size. So let's just try that. Okay, the first rectangle is looking great to me. So I am going to go to the sprite panel and duplicate it to create our other rectangle. And I will color this one green. To change up the pattern between these two rectangles, I could make this one wait a different amount of time. And let's just try it out with the two rectangles together. Okay, that seems pretty good. Maybe I'll make this green rectangle wait like 0.3 seconds before it appears. And you know, I'll also hide the sprite just while it's waiting. So this will make it show up a bit after the white rectangle on the first time it shows up. Yeah, okay, I like that effect. Okay, so once you decide that you're done with your intro animation, we can move on to the last step, which will be ending the animation and having the game start. So to end the animation, I'll go to the text sprite and when the intro is done, how about I'll have the text change size by maybe negative 200 to make it go really small and then hide. So let me just try that out. And how about I'll also have the text turn when the intro ends. And after all of these intro elements have disappeared, we then want the game to start, which in this case was this little catch game with a bird. So how about after this text hides, we can send out a message and call it start game. And then after we send that message, we can go to the bird and star sprites and say, when I receive start game, show. So we'll have them appear when the actual game starts. I'll send this code to the star. And the bird also has this tilting code that it does during the game. I'll make it start this code also when it receives that message. So let's just try that out, play the intro. Oh, okay, so I can play the game now, which is great, but I also need to switch the backdrop to the actual game backdrop. So when this start game message is received, I'll also switch the backdrop to this one. Now let's try that out. And there we go. Now we can play our intro and as soon as it ends, the actual game begins. So that's one way you could make an animated intro. There are tons of ways you could change this with, you know, different shapes, different code, different music or art. So yeah, hope you have fun making your intros and I'll see you in the next video.